Welcome to the Western Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president celebrated his fourth St. Patrick's Day as president and hosted the Irish Prime Minister, marked Nehru's with a video address, then embarked on a four-state energy tour that's March 16th to the 22nd for Slanche. On Monday, the president recorded a video address marking Nowruz, the Persians' longest and most cherished festivity on which Iranians celebrate the new year. In his address, the president called on the Iranian regime to lift the electronic curtain that limits the ability of the Iranian people to freely express their views on the Internet. So in this season of new beginnings, the people of Iran should know that the United States of America seeks a future of deeper connections between our people, a time when the electronic curtain that divides us is lifted and your voices are heard. A season in which mistrust and fear are overcome by mutual understanding and our common hopes as human beings. Thank you. And Eda Shoma Mubarak. On Tuesday, the President uh, welcomed the Prime Minister of Ireland to the White House. Then they traveled to the Capitol, where they attended a traditional St. Patrick's Day lunch, including a stirring rendition of Danny Boy. The United States and the Emerald Isle shared strong bilateral relations, deep cultural ties, and a commitment to advancing our shared values throughout the world. On Wednesday, the President embarked on a four-state trip to highlight his all-of-the-above approach to American energy, starting in Boulder City, Nevada, where he visited the Copper Mountain Solar One facility, the largest photovoltaic plant operating in the country, with nearly one million solar panels powering 17,000 homes. The President made clear that America must continue to invest in cutting-edge solar energy technology because we simply can't afford to cede that growing industry to competitors in other countries. You'd think, given this extraordinary site, given the fact that this is creating jobs, generating power, helping to keep our environment clean, making us more competitive globally, you'd think that everybody would be supportive of solar power. That's what you'd think. The president then traveled to oil and gas production fields located on federal lands outside of Carlsbad, New Mexico, an area home to more than 70 active drilling rigs. Since President Obama took office, drilling for oil and gas on public lands alone has increased 13 percent. It doesn't make sense for us to be providing a $4 billion subsidy when oil and gas are doing plenty well on their own. Let's tell Congress to get their act together. Let's allocate these subsidies in a smart kind of way. On Thursday, the president continued on to Oklahoma to discuss his effort to expedite the construction of an oil pipeline from Cushing, Oklahoma to the Texas Gulf Coast that will ease a bottleneck that has led to a glut of oil in Oklahoma. And today we're making this new pipeline from Cushing to the Gulf a priority. But the fact is, producing more oil at home isn't enough by itself to bring gas prices down. And the reason is we've got an oil market that is global. The final stop on the trip took the president to Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio, home to some of the country's most advanced energy-related research and development projects that will play an important role in helping America finally become independent of foreign sources of energy. We've got to also look at renewable energy as the key to our future. And we've got to build cars and trucks that get more miles to the gallon. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out the rest of the week. It is a great honor to meet you. Well, Congratulations. You. Well, thank you. 79 years. Amazing. Huh? This is wonderful. You got to tell me your secret for staying married for 79 years. I love you, that story. You should know what it is. You just do what she tells you to do. No compromise. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's a great story. It's amazing. 79 years.